Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ulrike. I am a K-beauty and skincare content creator and very enthusiastic about skincare. And today I wanted to talk about a brand that really is one of those cult K-beauty brands. One of the first ones I think that ever made it into the Western market. Um, now with the um, advent of the rise of TikTok, skincare TikTok, one of their products in particular became hyper famous. And um, I think I'm always a little bit irked by the fame of that particular product because I feel this brand has so much more to offer than the three or so products that constantly get hyped. And so being the content creator that I am, that always likes to focus more on lesser known skincare, I thought maybe it would be a good idea for a video to not just hype up the same three products from this brand, from Cosrx, but instead talk about three products that I feel need so much more hype and are rarely ever spoken about that I'm going to make it my mission to, <laughs> to highlight and spotlight them and maybe bring more awareness towards these three hidden gems from Cosrx. So Cosrx, truly I think one of the best known Korean skincare brands, uh, now widely available back when I started as a blogger in 2016 when I started writing about Korean skincare, Cosrx was still kind of seen as like something very exotic. And now you can get it even in drugstores in many countries uh, outside of Korea. So it really is probably the most widely available Korean brand, I want to say. And the thing is, I really do like their products. However, as I said in my intro, I just find it a little bit sad that influencers always recommend the same one or two products, especially, of course, the snail mucin essence. Fun fact about the snail mucin essence, it's not that popular in Korea. <laughs> I know sometimes people are annoyed when influencers like me make a big fuss about, oh, this isn't actually popular in Korea. It's the same with Beauty of Joseon. Now, actually, it's kind of becoming popular in Korea, but for a long time, they almost exclusively sold outside of Korea. That doesn't mean the products are bad, right? Just because the Koreans don't use it doesn't mean it's, it's magically a bad product. However, I do find it a little bit sad when certain products in the West are hyped as the best K-beauty products, while Koreans will probably say, really? I don't know. I, I wouldn't have said this is... Um, a representative product of what Korean skincare can do. The Cosrx Snail Muse in Essence, I think it's a great product, but I also think it doesn't work for everyone. And again, I just think there are so many more interesting and more beautiful and especially sensitive skincare friendly and also, guess what, fully vegan, <laughs> animal friendly products out there from Cosrx which is actually a cruelty-free brand um, that I just think more people should talk about. And I'm gonna start with these three products today. And the first one I already have spoken about on this channel before. And this first product is the Cosrx Sika Cream, the light version. I think they also have a rich version. I introduced this cream on my channel when I compared some, I think it was three or four different Sika creams from Korea. And I did say back then, and I still am sticking to that, that this is actually, if I had to choose one out of all the Sika creams that I really, really like, this is probably my favorite. And I am always floored at the fact that no one ever seems to talk about this cream. I think 50 Shades of Snail, so Jude, I think she talked about this ages ago and said that it was good. She really likes the whole Sika line uh, from Cosrx. But otherwise, I can't think of a single influencer who's ever spoken about this. Um, again, just kind of gets overshadowed by the snail mucin essence. 
when it comes to calming, when it comes to anti-inflammatory goodness, and when it comes to also elegance of formula, this is almost unbeatable. If you have acne prone skin, if you have redness prone skin, such as me, I've been filming for half an hour to an hour now, and I'm like getting red all over. <laughs> <laughs> it was maybe a bit bold to try and film two videos today because usually after a short while from all the dust in the air and all the pollen, I just get crazy red. So redness always an issue for me. And this cream, if you have that type of hypersensitive, redness prone, constantly inflamed, also acne prone skin type, this cream, amazing. It's amazing. It's such a godsend. Not only does it contain Centella Asiatica, Sika, which is a great anti-inflammatory, it also just feels so soothing overall. And it is such a, a sensitive, skin-friendly, minimalist formula that nevertheless has a really impressive elegance to it. This is something that I really like about Cosrx in general, uh, especially their core skincare range. It is always formulated very in a very minimalist way and really focuses on efficacy without sort of frilliness. Um, they don't use a lot of unnecessary plant extracts or overblown essential oil lists or secret marketing gimmicky stuff. It always kind of focuses on the essentials, on hydration, on soothing, on calming. And this is really the case with this cream. The texture, however, just feels so smooth and it feels like it doesn't feel super silicone-y, but instead it just really feels like almost like an, an ointment but without the greasiness. So it really kind of glides onto skin and just gives this refreshing and calming feeling. And it really is quite hydrating. It isn't very moisturizing, so I don't think it works that well for dry skin. You can use it maybe more as an overnight sort of almost sleeping cream on top of another moisturizer if you are very dry or dryness prone but as long as you're oily to normal this will also be enough as a regular moisturizer where it really excels is that it is just so soothing calming and it really does help to to kind of calm down the redness i always want to be careful because i don't want to promise oh your redness is gone because i have not found a product yet that just really gets rid of redness but it will make it less visible because it has all these anti-inflammatory and soothing properties please give this one a try if you are redness prone if you're acne prone blemish prone if you need something calming and soothing especially now for summer this i reach for this a lot and i love it so so much next up is a toner from cosrx and now it's not their famous propolis toner which is great which is fantastic i'm not saying that's not a good product i reviewed the propolis toner years and years ago when it was freshly launched on my blog and I really enjoyed it. It's one of those toners that just never finishes. <laughs> I remember having the large bottle and I used it, I think for a year and I used it so often, but somehow it never was went down. I don't know, it, it's, just, it's strange for some of the toners, but I did really enjoy that. And the Propolis toner, the whole Propolis line is excellent and also very popular in Korea. Probably one of their most popular products in korea much more popular than the snail stuff however today i want to talk about a different cosrx toner that i remember trying in a review event so i didn't buy it and i didn't specifically sign up for it but it was i think like a trial cosrx product package or something like that i don't even quite remember it's many years ago and um, it had a little mini of that toner and I didn't know anything about the toner. I wasn't sure if I would like it. It seemed very simplistic. And I became such a huge fan. And again, do, I do not understand why this one doesn't get the hype that I think it deserves. And it is this one. It comes in another huge bottle. <laughs> Giant. And it is the Cosrx 
Hydrium watery toner. This toner is probably one of the most pleasant, most hydrating toners that I know that works especially well for summer. If you have very dehydrated skin, but you don't like those more viscous, thicker types of hyaluronic acid based toners. This toner, I will probably show a close up of this as well, where you can see the texture, but maybe you can see it here as well. It is completely watery. It is completely liquid. There's no viscous feeling to it, like a little bit of a viscous slip, but it doesn't have any stickiness or thickness. And to me, this is why it is such a fantastic toner. While it is also very liquid, very lightweight in texture, very water-like, it nevertheless is super hydrating. And I mean super hydrating. I remember vividly using this. Again, this is a while ago. I want to say two or three years probably. I remember using this and really not expecting much from it because it has such a light texture. But then just kind of being just gasping. I was really amazed because it sinks in really deeply, really fast. And then just kind of gives skin such a large amount of hydration that it really helps when your skin is just super dehydrated, super thirsty, and it just kind of plumps up skin really nicely and makes it feel much softer and more relaxed. Um, the other reason why I really like this, apart from it being so lightweight and super hydrating, is that it is, again, a really minimalist formula. There's not much to it. They always actually put the uh, ingredients list on the bottle itself, I think, to kind of show that they're very proud of how minimalist their formulas are. And this contains basically just water, glycerin, uh, of course, a couple of like stabilizers and other things. I'm not a chemist, so I can't tell you everything about every single ingredient, but the goodies are basically glycerin, five types of hyaluronic acid. Again, remarkable that even though it contains so much hyaluronic acid, it is such a light formula. And then that's about it. Some panthenol and elantoin, which is both, uh, which are both calming and soothing ingredients. And that's it. No fragrance, no nothing. Same with the Cosrx Sika cream, no alcohol, and just very, very basic, which means it works for a variety of skin types. This is fantastic if you have super dehydrated skin. This is wonderful if you have dry skin, but again, don't want those thicker, more nourishing toners. Fantastic for summer. Maybe even keep it in the fridge so you get a bit of a refreshing, cooling kick. And um, yeah, to me, one of the best minimalist, just focused on hydration style toners that no one talks about. And I don't understand it. Also, you can usually find it quite cheaply because it's a huge bottle. 280 milliliters and as long as you find it on sale it usually can be found i i think i paid only like 18 dollars or something in a sale so really quite affordable wonderful sensitive skin friendly yeah please give it more love because i don't know why no one talks about it and lastly, another product that I see absolutely no one talk about that I have been obsessed with for ages. Um, I always hesitated to buy the full size. I had a little sample size because I have to say it is a little bit difficult to find a good sales price on it and full priced. I always think it's a little bit overpriced, but finally I snatched it up for I think around $20, which it is absolutely worth it. Um, and it is this. Uh, ample from Cosrx. Again, no one talks about this and I don't understand it. And it is the um, Cosrx Hydrium Centella Aqua Soothing Ample. And it looks like this. And it comes in this drop bottle applicator. And guys, it is such a great ample and it is such a great Centella Asiatica product. Um, again, I think the reason why it's so good is because of its minimalist formula. Absolutely just focused on hydration and centella goodness. 
one of the most effective products when it comes to calming down skin that I know and the texture is just so lightweight. This, I think they have changed it a little bit from the formula that I had because the one that I had was almost water-like. It still feels very watery, very lightweight, but it is a little bit thicker than I remember it. Nevertheless, I still absolutely love how fast this sinks into skin and how effectively it helps to calm down. Again, my redness prone, very easily inflamed, allergy season plagued skin. Um, if you want a high quality Centella product, I can really recommend this. Maybe even use it in combination with a Sika cream and you have a really fantastic redness combating, inflammation fighting, um, acne calming, uh, combo. Also, this is very, very hydrating. It contains uh, glycerin. And then exactly, I was like, oh, did I remember this correctly? Yes, sugarcane extract, uh, which is basically a humectant. Sugar is always a humectant. Um, so it draws water into your skin and hydrates your skin. And then again, not much else in it except the Centella Asiatica and um, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, very, very gentle formula that is, I want to say, deceptively simplistic. You will think that it doesn't do anything, but it is one of those products that you start using and then you understand why it is so good. What I don't understand is why no one talks about it because truly this to me is like the secret star of the Cosrx lineup. Anti-inflammatory, soothing, very, very hydrating, but super refreshing, non-sticky formula. As long as this is on sale, because again, I think the full size is a little bit overpriced. I just cannot recommend this highly enough to anyone with dehydration issues, redness issues. This also works very well if you have acne prone skin. Most Cosrx formulas do, to be honest. Um, because it will help bring a bit of anti-inflammatory and even anti-bacterial um, goodness to um, the areas where you have blemishes. So good. Please try, please give this ample a try and the other two products as well. I don't, I don't get why no one talks about them. Whew, it is getting hot in here. We're having a heat wave in Germany. And so I think it's the perfect time to uh, end this video. And I really, really hope I got you interested in these three highly underrated, lesser known Cosrx products. Please, Cosrx needs to be better known than just for its nail mucin essence, which again is fine. It's a good product, but I think it is just a little bit overhyped and that leads to other products from the brand being overlooked that I think are so good and so sensitive skin friendly. And um, I hope maybe I put a spotlight a little bit on these uh, Cosrx goodies. I have some more. I had like a whole list, but I thought I'm just going to focus on these three also because I don't have the other ones here <laughs> at the moment. And these ones I wanted to purchase anyway, so that worked out well. But let me know if you need any other Cosrx product recommendations, the Propolis, Propolis line maybe. Um, but that would be for another video in the future. And if this video was helpful or interesting to you, it would be fantastic if you could give it a thumbs up, maybe leave a comment. And of course, it is also always so, so helpful if you subscribe to the channel. So um, a big thank you if you do. And I do videos every week and I will see you again next week for sure for another video. And until then, please take care. Bye.